Hello everyone, I'm Wheelman, and welcome back to Ghost Recon Wildlands for the Jackpot Challenges for the week of February 19th, 2019. Kicking things off this week is, using only 4 bullets or less, kill 4 Unidad snipers in a row without collateral damage. So, just like last week, I went down to Flor del Oro to MOB Jaguar, and I'm hanging out on this ledge overlooking the south side of the base. From this position, there are six guard towers in view, each one with its own sniper. So you can just pick your favorite four and go. Chopper incoming. And so, with challenge 1 out of the way, let's move on to challenge 2. The second challenge this week is, in extreme difficulty and using only the crossbow, deploy to Malika Bravo, then complete the mission, show cancelled. Now, if you have the Fallen Ghost DLC installed, the crossbow should automatically be added to your inventory. If you don't own the DLC, you can go to the store, to the weapon packs section, and the crossbow should be free. Next, because the mission area is close to the rally point, it's a good idea to start the mission before you fast travel. We've learned that El Chido's concert venue is a place called Uma Marta. We're canceling the show. Get inside the venue and clear the place out. Once you are finally on the ground with your crossbow, you can move up to start clearing out the area. There are easily 20 guys in this area, so your best bet is to just call in the rebels. Just behind the stadium is the generator, and you can use an EMP drone to destroy it. Now, something to note is I am very close to the railroad tracks, and <laughs> this is so stupid that I can't make it up. Last week, all of my guys tried to catch the train. This week, they did exactly the same thing. I decided to just stick it out here, but you can move farther down the train tracks, where there's a little more room, or you can move a little ways into the city and try and find a building to hide in. Whatever you decide on, all you have to do is make sure that the area is clear. It should take somewhere in the neighborhood of about five minutes to clear the enemies out, both using your sync shot and the rebel diversion. But once all of the guys are dead, you're clear to run inside and take out the speakers. Unfortunately, the EMP drone doesn't take these out, despite the fact that they are electronic devices and really should be affected by an EMP, which means you're going to have to go in there and do the dirty work yourself. But when the last one is destroyed, the challenge will be complete, and you're ready to move on to this week's final challenge. Solo challenge 3 this week is, in extreme difficulty and using only sniper rifles, deploy to Inca Camina Bravo, then complete the mission Operation Silent Spade Snafu. The very first thing that you should do is to disable your tier mode, if you have it activated. This mission is difficult at the best of times, and tier mode makes it even harder. So with that out of the way, just fast travel to Inca Camina Bravo, and you can zoom all the way out on the map in order to start Silent Spade Snafu. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of hoped that I would never see this challenge again. But since it is finally here, I can correct some mistakes that I made in some of my older videos. The first thing I need to correct is, in this first area here, you don't actually have to be sneaky and shoot everybody. You can drop a rebel diversion up here near the alarm, disable it, and then use the ensuing chaos to sink shot most of the enemies. The first time I called in the rebels, the guy that I'm supposed to interrogate did die somehow, but I'm not entirely sure it was the rebels' fault. Even if it was, I decided to take kind of a risk and go in there and interrogate him with guys still in the area. 
By the time I had got done interrogating him, it seemed that the rebels had cleared out most of the area, so I just grabbed the helicopter and flew to Barbechos. When you finally get to the city of Barvechos, your goal is to get onto this kind of yellow and white building next to this orangish building. If you come in from the west side of the city, you can usually make it on top without being spotted. If you can get up here without anyone seeing you, it's basically going to keep any enemies from trying to rush you. From here, you can call in a rebel diversion down on the street and a rebel guns for hire to defend yourself. You can also use the rebel spotting and a sync shot to kind of help things along a little bit. Now, the big reason that I am up on this ledge where I am still visible is because snipers tend to spawn on nearby rooftops. If a sniper starts spotting you and you're in your drone, the game will kick you out of the drone view so you can deal with a sniper. From there, you can go prone and use your drone again to spot the sniper, and use a sync shot to take him out. The only other thing to mention here is, if the truck is destroyed and you end up failing the mission, you spawn just outside of town. If you follow the road back towards town and stop on the train tracks, then when you call in for a rebel helicopter, it will spawn directly in front of you. You can then repeat the previous steps to fly into town and get on this building. So, this next bit is sort of what was a personal problem for me. As I was doing this challenge, I was having trouble with my connection. I lost connection to the Ubisoft servers two or three times throughout this last bit of the challenge, and for some reason that translated in, into enemies not showing up like they were supposed to. I know for a fact that a helicopter is supposed to spawn, but when I was doing this challenge, it just never showed up for me. I think there was also only one wave of ground reinforcements that came through. Needless to say, this made the challenge very easy, but if you don't feel that this section of the challenge guide is up to snuff, uh, Season 10, Week 4, was the last time that I did a challenge similar to this. If you get hit with a connection error while doing this challenge, or any challenge for that matter. Pause the game and open up the weekly challenge menu. This should reconnect you to the Ubisoft servers and you can continue on. With about a minute remaining on the clock, you can start heading down the stairs towards the ground level. It's a good idea to call the rebel spotting just before you do, just in case some guys manage to hide in the building. At about 20 seconds, Kozak gives up on defusing the bomb, and when the coast is clear, you want to try and get to the door of the truck as soon as you can. Nomad and Kozak have a short conversation, but as soon as Nomad calls Bowman, you'll be able to get into the truck. From there, grab the truck and drive it to the quarry. The only thing you really need to be careful about is, as you're driving down the hill, it can get a little bumpy and you could turn the truck over. As you reach the ramp, Nomad should bail out on his own, and you will have completed the challenge. See your desk hasn't done the same to you. I'll be in touch. Grip it out. And lastly, the task force challenge this week is in extreme difficulty, run over a boss, and you have to do it twice. This is honestly the easiest challenge I think I've ever had to do. All you have to do is go down to Libertad and start the mission Marcus Jensen. 
Arcus just kind of stands around out in the open, waiting for you. And he's one of the bosses that you're supposed to retrieve, so as soon as you run him over, you're going to fail the mission and start nearby. Now, he doesn't actually spawn in until you reach the area that you're supposed to go to. I'll get out here in a second and show you where he is with the drone. But once he does spawn, all you have to do is round the corner and follow the road down in order to run him over. Take him alive. There's usually a small stone wall in the way, however, because I'm doing this for the second time, and just this is the only time that I recorded it, the wall is already gone. And the task force challenge is done. It's it was just that easy. And with that, we've actually come to the end of the road in terms of my weekly challenge videos. Ubisoft has announced some of the features of Special Operation 4, and it includes changes to the weekly challenges. They are moving from weekly challenges with monthly rewards to daily challenges with weekly rewards. The fact is, I can't get videos out fast enough, I can't make daily videos, so I won't be making videos anymore. It's actually kind of sad. Alright, well it's not that sad. But the fact is, these videos were helping me out. They were making me feel a little bit better about myself, and it made me happy to help other people. Honestly, I started doing these videos to prove to myself that I could do them. I mean, that was the whole reason I did Season 9. I continued doing them during Season 10 because people wanted to see them, and I mean, they were the most wildly successful videos on my channel. I actually had a bunch more cool ideas for things that I wanted to do with the videos, but I'm just never going to get the chance now. For the first couple of weeks, I was actually dreading having to do the videos. But more recently, I was starting to get into it. I was looking forward to Tuesdays, because it meant that I could start working on the videos again. I'm probably going to do one last video, just kind of going over how the challenges work. Just, like, general tips and tricks. To be honest, I don't really know what to do with the channel from here. But that's really something to go in-depth in, in another video. Right now, I just want to thank... Everybody who watched, everybody who has watched, everybody who's subscribed, everyone who's liked the videos, and everyone who has shared. But seriously, thank you, everyone, for sitting through this sappy section of the video. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the regular outro. So if you liked the video, please leave a like on it. But moreover, I want you to go down in the comments and... Tell me if you got any cool stuff out of the loot boxes that you earn from these weekly challenges. And this week's outro is what happens when you're driving a little too fast and a little too furious during Operation Silence Spade. <laughs>